Uh, I'm here today uh, as a representative for the Western Fair District. We uh, have currently been working through a process to develop an access program for the Western Fair District. Specifically, uh, it began with the Western Fair last year. Uh, we worked with a few community organizations that deal specifically uh, with special needs, and they uh, came together with us, recommended an access card program. And uh, we've sort of, Beth and I have sort of been developing an application and some rules and regulations to support that. It's very similar to a, uh, the Access to Card program, but it would be specific to the Western Fair District. And we're here today to answer any questions that you have. Anyone have any questions? Watch them. They'll all be shy now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everyone. So I was curious about the way you're defining um, a, a support person. Uh, we, we've talked to some experts and we are going to include in our um, sort of uh, rules and regulations provided the actual one from, from here. So the, the definition we'll use is any person, whether a paid professional, volunteer, family member, or friend who accompanies a person with a disability in order to help with communications, personal care, or medical needs, or with access to goods and services. And that definition came from? Uh, like is it, the, is it the same or similar to what the AODA is using? Yes, okay. yes. Okay, that's, I was just reading this. The support person is a caregiver of really regarding person with disability, and I thought that was a Yeah, we had, we had some input that yeah. that was not um, broad enough. So you have to find it much more wrong. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah, we're, we're getting <laughs> lots of input. We're trying to get to it just right. So that's what we're most of the bases there. Yeah, thank you. Any other questions? No? Michael? I just wanted to <clears throat> comment. I did see an earlier version of the application as well, and I uh, certainly like the rephrasing of the privacy mm -hmm. around the term disclose, which was a which was originally a significant concern to me. Yeah, it was um, very vague in the beginning, but now we list it as uh, disclose, uh, retain, and disclose internally for administrative purposes in the course of the services we offer. So that. Uh, um, uh, defines it uh, better for the applicant, and it means that we'll just that any purpose of disclosing would just probably be with uh, regards to Beth administering the program internally. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. So, Renee. Um, just to clarify, is this specifically for Western Fair District? Is this uh, who all can apply for this? Uh, well, any person with a disability could certainly apply, but yes, the program's just specific to the Western Fair District currently. Uh, it was uh, originally our old program was just for the fair. This will encompass all Western Fair operated events. There are third party events that also take place on our site, which have not um, been exposed to it because we really haven't had, we wanted to get approvals about it first so we could go to third party events and say this is good, it's supported by the community and we'd like you to do it as well as part of the Western Fair District. So although uh, we see it uh, being the fair and all our owned and operated shows, we anticipate that it'll be all events within the district going forward. Okay, so is it limited to people in London who can apply for this? Oh, it's absolutely not. Like not. No, if, you, if you're coming from British Columbia and you know you're going to attend the fair and you wanted to get the card, you could actually ac apply for it online through our website. If you attend the fair, you don't know about it, we'll still allow you access, but we'll we'll make you aware of the CAP program so you can apply if you choose to. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Michael? A little pet project of mine around here is the Access 2 card. Yes. I'm sure you've heard of. Yes, we have. Is that going to have a place or a fit alongside, sort of in conjunction with what you're already doing? Yeah, we did investigate it, and uh, what uh, why we developed our own is the access card actually has a fee involved, a $20 fee, I believe it is. And uh, from our focus groups and meetings, we, we sort of determined that uh, financial issues are a major concern for people living with disabilities, so we wanted to provide the pro program free because our program in the past was free as well. So we're going to carry on with that. We think it's just um, a better program and, and matches the community-based organization that we are. 
Uh, access to, though, is a good program, and uh, I would have to get board approval, but we would probably recommend that they consider um, recognizing it just to enhance what we already do on, on the site. Any other questions, comments? I have one. <laughs> um, for section B of the authorized health care provider information, if you look under customer service standard, it has it that um, there's no requirements for verifications. So I was wondering. Um, Sorry, Bonnie, there's no requirements for what? Sorry? For the verification for the process for a person. And I was just wondering, have you looked into that or? No. Then that, that would not, um, section B would not have to be um, looked into. Sorry, Bonnie, can you explain yourself further so I can answer sure, that? Sure, I can. Um, for, for this, in the customer service standard, yes. it has that no requirement for the verification process for to have a support person. Okay. And so, so therefore, um, section B uh, would not necessarily be needed, right? Hmm. Just a question. And, yeah, and sorry, what, where is that? What are you reading out of that? Um, this is from the, uh, from the Ministry's um, Accessibility Director of Ontario. I oh, okay. It's his email form that I wrote about it. Well, if we could uh, look at that and then uh, assess our application still based on that, we would be happy to do that. Thanks for pointing that out. No problem. Any other questions, comments? Could I make one comment? It, it would be wonderful if. Uh, this council committee would, uh, if you support the program, if we could get a letter of support for the, the program going forward so that we we have the uh, committees okay in a sense that it's, uh, you've been re it's been reviewed by community experts and supported. Would that be a possibility? I was just going to say that the point Bonnie made is actually really an important one because we could, a lot of Many things are coming down now as we're talking about, you don't, you don't have to prove you have a disability, you just have to say you have one. Yes. And you could find yourself facing a human rights challenge, which is where you probably don't want to be. Of course not. So I would, I would really think hard before I included that verification of disability portion in there. Like, what's in it for you to need it? Because you're probably going to spend a lot of time arguing with people about why it's there and how, like, what proof, what you're using to keep it there. Okay. Yeah, we certainly wouldn't want that. Michael. Certainly uh, similar sections to Section B apply or appear on other uh, applications that are, in, that are in existence. So by no means would you be the only ones who are looking at how to, uh, how to address that. Um, but certainly uh, I'm not familiar with the, the part of the legislation Bonnie's referring to. Um, but I would certainly have a look at it. Yeah. Uh, and I think any motion for us to support it at this point might be premature until we know yeah. uh, whether it is actually in accordance with the ADA's legislation. Okay. Yes. Uh, just, just a suggestion that uh, I'm not sure how time sensitive this is, but the committee may want to consider uh, supporting it in principle with some information to come back, uh, confirming <coughs> that it's in compliance with How would the committee feel about that? Well, like the idea of supporting the in principle with more information because, I mean, as, as what I'm looking at here is obviously not what you now have. I couldn't have supported this, but you made some really good changes. So I, I guess my only issue is I would really like to see there be one card all over the place instead of everyone creating their own little card. So if I did, if I if I voted against it, it would be because I think committees like ours have the power to make or break something like the access to cards. I'm now kind of more talking to the committee, but so if we were supporting it all over the province, it would have more power than all the little committee, all the committees all over the province supporting every city's two or three different organizations who are creating their own cards. 
good point. Okay. I have another question. When I suppose it is up to time essence for yes. Yes, well, we, we'd love to um, announce it to the public so that we can share it with as many in the community as possible, at least in advance of the fair, uh, which starts in September, and to sort of support the administrative process. It would be nice to have a couple of months to get it started. So we could pu publicly launch it in July if we have it supported in principle and if we can um, finalize the application. We could certainly send that out to the committee to be shared amongst yourselves and um, and maybe to do that in the next week or two if that's possible. I'm looking for you. Sure. That, 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 it, it, the, the motion would, would still be the same, that um, really by supporting in principle what the committee is doing is it's saying that this is a worthwhile project and we like the idea. We want to see a little bit more information before we're full on, fully on board, but I, I, I'm getting the sense that that's the, the sentiment around the table. Is that the same? So you just need a motion to that effect. Just Who would like to make a motion? Thank you, Andrew. Seconder? Thank you, Michael. All in favor? Any objections? Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you for having us. We look forward to hearing from you.